Hi Taurus, welcome to your October astrology reading and tarot reading. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign. Just take what resonates with you personally. Let's see what's going on with you Taurus. We are going to have a three-part reading for you. It's going to be in three sections. So the first part will be a general overall reading, and then we'll go into finances and career, and then you will have a love portion. And then we are going to do a surprise trick-or-treat and magic oracle for you at the end of the reading. So let's take a look at what's going on with you. We have the chariot here, so I feel like October has a very faded or destined feel to it with the chariot and you know there is going to be an eclipse that for some of you it's going to you know um really activate your north node or activate um a, a vertex in your chart so it could even be both it could activate a lunar node with a vertex okay but um you are going to have a lot of activations in your chart that is going to move you to new beginnings, okay? And I feel like for you, Taurus, a lot of this energy, a lot of the activations that are going to be coming in towards the end of October is going to give you, like, this starting at zero, right? Which is actually a good thing because I feel like that's kind of something that you need. So I'm feeling this resetting energy for you. Setting off on a new path, okay? We got the Hierophant. So I feel like, again, this is really called, really destined um, for you as well. And, you know, because of the lunar eclipses, you could definitely feel like you have some very strange uh, occurrences, especially like with the Fool, the Hierophant. These are spiritual or even paranormal occurrences or encounters that happen for you that you can't quite understand okay and I think that if this is happening for you this is because this eclipse that is coming up is actually going to activate a lot in your chart that is going to set you off on a destined new beginning okay so whatever this new beginning might be it's actually in your favor and it actually is like part of your destiny okay We have Mars going into your first house um, in the first half of the month, okay? So it's really important for you, Taurus, to recognize that with Mars being in your first house, this really gives the opportunity, and I'm not saying that it's going to happen. It just gives the opportunity for physical altercations to take place, okay? Um you know, Mars is really aggressive energy, and um, sometimes it can indicate like a very combatant energy, especially when it's in the first house, okay, you might encounter clashing with another person, you might encounter um, a physical altercation, okay, or um, somebody creating a physical altercation with you. So this could come in the form of some sort of accident, and I'm not talking about a car accident, okay? I'm just talking about maybe somebody bumps into you and you, like, bump up against a chair or something, and, you know, something like that. Um, it does leave the opening for that. So be aware of your surroundings, Taurus, okay? And... You know, try not to be that clumsy <laughs> this month. I feel like Taurus is one of the signs that are like the least clumsiest, but I just feel like I have to say that, okay? So I'm going to be doing a eclipse reading, actually, as it gets further into the month, and it's going to be for all signs, okay? So you can actually look further into that as we go along, all right, but... Yeah, I am just getting this um, major reset energy for you and just starting off on a new path. And we do have the sun and Mercury that are in your fifth house, okay? And they are kind of 
hanging out there and it's really nice. It's creating this really nice energy in your chart to where fifth house is all about, um, you know, it can be about partners, love connections, friendships. Um, it's more so about a new love than it is, you know, a significant other. So for a lot of you, you have the opportunity to actually meet someone okay, this month because of the sun and Mercury joining up in your fifth house. And I also feel that um, you could meet this person either at work, through a trade that you have, or through some kind of group where you feel drawn to them because there is this like-mindedness because Mercury is about the mind, okay, and then sun is bringing this connection through the mind space in the fifth house. Okay, so connecting with people that you feel like you have a lot in common with, um, or this could even be getting to know people on a deeper level. It could be like getting to know your co workers better, getting to know your neighbors better, okay? Um, any, any group of friends, getting to know your friends on a deeper level, okay? The sun and Mercury in the fifth house does bring that, but it also brings a lot of awareness when it comes to your own creativity, okay? So I think that, Taurus, you are going to have so many ideas throughout October and just really, really want to express them. And I feel like in October, this is really a month where those ideas will get recognized for what they are, meaning that they will get recognized for being a really good or innovative ideas with, um, with that mercury energy there. And I feel like just this energy of people wanting to connect with you or trade ideas with you with the sun and mercury in the fifth house, okay, whether this be for fun or for creativity, whatever it's for. But I do feel that, okay? Okay, and for some of you who are actually going to have um, some major points in your chart activated, I feel like this is going to be activated around, I, I think it's around the um, latter half of the month, okay? So give or take, mid and latter half. So... Around those times, you know, when you have this activation, and this is for some of you who are getting those activations, okay, not everyone's going to get them, but the ones that do get them, you are going to, I feel like it's got, like you're going to wake up, you know, in like a couple weeks and be like, who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Like, it feels like you are just setting off on this brand new path and it's so freeing for you and it feels right with the Hierophant here, okay? For some of you, you are seeking advice, okay? Because you might be feeling a little bit lost right now. So I feel like seeking advice from elders, seeking advice from spiritual people with the Hierophant here or maybe just seeking spiritual direction, but I feel like there's victory in whatever it is that you're looking for and whatever it is you're trying to find, okay? So let's take a look and see what the chariot wants to tell us. What does the chariot want to tell us? We got the four of pentacles. Okay, so this is about holding on. So the chariot is saying... Hold on there, Taurus. There's victory at the end of this. And you know what? With the chariot and the four of pentacles, um, you might be holding on to the wrong things, right? So spirit is asking you, what are you holding on to this month, Taurus, that you don't need to be? Okay. I think that the universe is really taking things into its own hand for you, Taurus, and um, actually putting you in the right path, putting you on the right trajectory to where you need to be, okay? Yeah, look at that. We got the hermit. Okay, so a lot of soul searching, and again, the hermit is on a journey. He is on a mission. He is on a path, and the journey, where is the journey? It's within, 
Okay, it is within with the fool here. So again, this is getting to know um, almost like a brand new you, Taurus, because of all of these activations that you're going to be going through. All right, let's take a look at the here event. Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities coming in for you in the month of October, Taurus, okay? And again, this is about the right path, the right thing to do, what's right for you, because the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles are both about what's right and what feels right and what's right for you and the right path. So again, Spirit's like, you know what, Taurus, you've been feeling lost. Yes, it's true. I know that you have, okay? I feel it and I sense it here and now. You've been feeling lost, but guess what? Spirit is here to help you. Spirit is here to literally lift you up like this beautiful little pinnacle that you are. Okay, Taurus? And put you on the right path. And so you might experience a sudden drastic change of events for you or in your life um, sometime during October. Okay? But realize this is actually spirit putting you on the right path. The path that is actually destined for you with the chariot here. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull a trigger card just to get some advice. And you know spirit saying just hang in there. Just hold on because there's victory for you, Taurus. Especially for those of you who have been feeling lost, who have been feeling alone, who have been doing a lot of soul searching, okay, who, um, you know, I, yeah, I feel like for those of you, you're going to be put on the right path, okay? So let's see what we have here for Taurus, star child, look at that Taurus, you've been feeling lost, you've been feeling alone, but you're not alone, okay? Okay. Your home is in the stars, is what it's saying here. And so Spirit is saying, you know what? You are a child of the universe. You are a child of the stars, of the planets. And so the universe is going to help you. The universe is going to lift you up and place you on the right path like a loving parent does for their child. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what you have going on for career and finances, um, Taurus. So yeah, I feel new doors opening for you, new opportunities, um, offers coming your way, okay? And you know what? This is the universe bringing them to you because you deserve it. And they're putting you, again, on your right trajectory, on your right path. So what do you have going on for career and finances? We have the magician. So wow, I feel like, Taurus, you're really making things happen in October. Because the magician is all about action and manifestation, Taurus. And so that's what you are doing. You are actively manifesting all October. Okay, we have the moon here. So the moon is saying, you know what, um, sometimes not everything is as it seems. That's what the moon always tells us. And with the magician here, you know, sometimes the course of action we think is the correct course of action actually is not, right? We got the Wheel of Fortune, so a lot of changes for you, Taurus, in the month of October. And again, I feel like you're not going to see this coming. That's what I'm feeling, Um beautiful changes and I feel like you're going yeah look the empress at the bottom of the deck there's going to be so much I feel prosperity that's going to be brought into your life in October but it's like you're not even gonna see it coming or you won't be expecting it but the truth is you've been manifesting this okay that's what spirit is telling me you've been manifesting this Taurus and here it comes you're not gonna see it coming so this could be like a surprise, some surprise money, right? A surprise job offer, something like that. So the Wheel of Fortune, Taurus, is Saturn. 
okay and Saturn is actually in your ninth house the house of fate so I feel like this moon that we're having and I feel like for you it's the eclipse this eclipse is going to activate something very faded okay um, for you and it is going to affect your job your career your finances and it's going to affect your life path in general okay so for some of you this is quite literally like love at first sight meeting the love of your life um, and having this really profound experience through love and relationships in that and it does feel karmic right but it doesn't mean that they are a karmic relationship, but it feels karmic, like there's some sort of destined element there or lesson that you're meant to learn from it, um, especially with these placements. Okay, so pay close attention, maybe even keep a journal this month. Um, so for some of you, it's going to lie there. It depends on where the activation is. Okay, but... Um, fate is definitely for all of you being activated um, by Saturn being in your ninth house. Okay, so Saturn is asking you, what do you believe in? And do you really believe in that? And Saturn is asking you, what do you want? Do you really want it? And how much do you want it? And do you believe you can have it? That is the question, Taurus, that Saturn is asking you this month. Okay, so you do you believe in yourself? enough to take these opportunities do you believe that it's there even though it may not be presenting itself at this very moment that is what Saturn is bringing to the table and yes it is faded so um, the universe is saying do you believe in whatever it is that's going on in your mind or do you believe in fate destiny do you believe in manifestation because let me tell you um, you are going to have some very strange faded occurrences this, this month, and I think it's going to be fun. Um, at least I always feel like those very weird, very woo-woo, <laughs> um, you know, like energies are, are so much fun to dive into. But, you know, make sure that you are holding on to stable ground when you're diving into these. You're going to feel like this month you want something stable, logical, um, clear-minded to hold on to, whether this be through another person or um, something else, right? For some of you, it's another person, but you, you're looking for something to ground you, okay? Because let me tell you, October is lifting you up off the ground, Taurus. Okay, so yeah, due to all the placements I feel you're getting a lot of recognition, a lot of, um, good luck, basically, on your side, Taurus, um, especially in your workplace, okay, and again, I feel this, like, you just connecting to the right people at the right time, okay, so I feel like you're making connections as well. And they're the right connections that you need to make. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the universe would like to tell us about the magician for Taurus for October. Okay, we have the six of swords wanting to come out here. It came out in reverse because that's your energy right now, Taurus. Your energy right now is saying, you know what? I don't think things are ever going to get better for me. I feel lost. I don't know where I'm going, right? The Six of Swords in reverse. They don't know where the heck they're going. That boat is overturned and, and they're in the water, okay? They are lost with no direction. And Spirit's saying, but Taurus, Taurus, listen. You have been manifesting this new direction all along, okay? All along. And it's there for you. You just have to take the opportunity and believe. This is about your faith. This is about believing in yourself. Believing that it's there even though you can't see it with the moon, Taurus. So I guess you could say with Saturn being in your ninth house, you are your faith is being tested just a little bit this month, Taurus. But, you know, I'm here to tell you. 
you're not actually out here in the water alone, okay? You're not. I know it might feel like that. I know it might seem like that, but you're actually not. Remember, Ace of Pentacles, Star Child, you are in the hands of the universe, and that is very good hands to be in. Everything is so perfect. Everything is so interconnected and so perfect with the way that it weaves together on this earth, with the way that we're all so connected from the tiniest mineral to, you know, the to humans, to the highest birds in the sky. We're all connected to each other and everything works in such perfect order. And so you have to remember that, and this is something that I've literally told myself over the past few years, um, you know, when I've lost people in my life, you know, so I've told myself as well, I remind myself rather, every single thing on this earth is perfect and interwoven together. And so that must mean that our path that we're walking and the loss that we're going through and, you know, whatever it is, is also perfect. It has to be. It has to be. Right? Because Everything is in its own way. Everything is so connected to each other and so perfect. And so we have to think that our path, our, um, you know, losses, whatever it is we've went through is also perfect in some way. And you're going to feel that this month. You're going to feel it coming together in some way. And again, you might not be able to see it yet, but you surely will feel it. And Saturn is asking you to trust because it is your faith that is being tested, Taurus. So what does the moon have to tell us? Look at that. You got the six of swords, the six of pentacles. Okay, we have 66 here. So the universe is saying it is your time for achievement. It is your time for reward, okay? Even though you can't see it, it's coming in for you. And the universe sees you and sees what you've been through. And the universe is saying it is your turn, okay? Actually, I feel like the universe wants to be very generous to you, is what I'm picking up here, and wants to reward you, okay? Look, we got the chariot coming out here. All right, so yeah, and that came out here. This is like your card. Remember, there's victory for you. With the chariot, it's always victorious. It's always successful, okay? Remember, not everything is as it seems right now, Taurus. You're going to get majorly activated, and you know what? We'll see what happens because I can tell you it's luck. It's the universe holding you. It's you jumping in the universe, catching you. It is your trust being restored. And the only thing that can block this from coming to you is you believing that it's not coming with the wheel of fortune. Okay, don't block your blessings. Again, this is a test of faith. Okay, Taurus, so, wow, that was a really intense message, okay? Um, but... I, I feel that message and, and it's all here. Okay, so I have a lot of cancer energy here, by the way. I just want to say I also have Aquarius, Taurus, of course, Aries, Virgo, Gemini, um, <sighs> Libra. <laughs> I, I just had like a brain blank. Libra, okay. Saggy, Gemini. So yeah, that's the signs I have. So if you are one of those signs like moon, rising, okay, it could like be extra clarification for you. But let's go ahead and see what you have going on for love, Taurus, okay? So I feel that, you know, already it's like, this is a really intense month for you, for love. Like, this is where you will meet faded partners, faded love connections. Um, at least it will feel faded for you. You might be going through some endings. 
okay, in regards to love as well. Endings that you don't want to let go of, that maybe you've been dreading letting go of, all right, with death in reverse, oh man, judgment in reverse, okay. The lovers, oh my gosh, Taurus, okay. So here's what I got for you, Taurus. So we have this beautiful energy for you because, like I said, you've got Mercury and the Sun in your fifth house, and then here comes Venus to join them, and it creates this beautiful, beautiful um, energy of love, okay, of love and excitement, and um, it's like your mind is on love, and your heart is on love, and you want to give love, and you want to receive love, and just everything about love, and I feel that, you know, you could meet someone who you really fall for very quickly, because that is what these placements do, okay, but, okay, be careful, because, like I said, um, the fifth house is more so about springing relationships, okay, um, passionate relationships, that, but ones that may not always stick, okay, so, oh, Taurus, <laughs> it's going to be hard for you to have your best judgment in regards to love this month, all right, that's what I'm seeing here, and for some of you, you might jump into a relationship very quickly, fall very hard, and then towards the latter, latter half of the month, here comes Mars into that fifth house, which creates an explosive um, sexual attraction. But also at the same time, there is this, um, while it could create sexual tension, it creates other tension as well. Okay, so I'm feeling sexual tension for you. I'm feeling there could be a situation where there's arguments or like blow-ups, you know, endings to relationships, feeling like at the end of the month, looking back on the relationship and saying, what the heck was I thinking? That type of energy. And I'll tell you what you was thinking, okay? Um, you were thinking Venus was in your fifth house with Mercury and the sun. And so you couldn't help it. It was just, it just happened, right? But yeah, um, let's go ahead and get some clarifiers here. So just be aware of that. Everything's going to feel very lovey-dovey, woo-woo in the beginning of the month, Taurus. But at the end of the month is where you're kind of going to be like, hold on a minute. Um, reality feels like it's crashing in on me in the love department, right? So just be aware, and, and I, I do feel, Taurus, for some of you, you're going to have to make a choice this month between lovers, okay? Between two lovers, you will be making a choice. So let's take a look at the tower here. Why is the tower here? Spirit, tell me about the tower. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, overwhelming attraction overwhelming energy okay but then with that overwhelming attraction comes tension right comes rethinking all right especially with the two of wands here this is really being careful not to jump in too quickly especially with the 10 and the two that makes a 12 hangman energy spirit is saying hold on a minute taurus remember the four pinnacles Hold on a minute, okay? Don't jump into anything this month, even though you might feel that it's faded, it's destined for you to, like, jump right into this new relationship. Don't do it, Taurus. Just wait it out a little bit longer, okay? Because I'm telling you, these energies are going to make you, again, be questioning your judgment next month. That's what I'm seeing. It's, the energy's there, okay? So let's take a look at death in reverse. I'm saying this to as a Taurus son, okay? So I'm not bashing on Taurus. Please know that I'm not because I'd be bashing on myself. I'm a Taurus son. So let's take a look at death. Spirit. 
Spirit, why is death here? We got another 10. 10, 10, Taurus. Okay, just hang in there is what Spirit's saying. All right? Um, I feel like for some of you, this is an end to a relationship. And for the person or the people who that message is for, you're going to be seeing 10, 10. You're going to be getting signs. Okay? The universe is not going to leave you hanging and know that you are not alone. But when it's time to let something go, there is no use in dragging it out. That only makes it harder on ourselves. So hanged man energy, surrender, pause, be still, right? Accept and heal. Okay, let's take a look at um, judgment in reverse. And again, look, ten of swords, two of swords. That's another 12 Taurus. Spirit saying, hang on. Do not make any huge decisions in regards to love this month, Taurus. We have, yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. Don't jump into anything, okay? Uh, that's just my advice. I mean, you can if you want to. But at the end of the month, you might end up regretting it. All right? That's all I'm going to say, and we're going to move on. Okay. So now that we have your reading here, let's go ahead and get you an angel message. Okay. So angels, please give me a message for Taurus to help them through the month of October to give them the guidance that they are seeking. Okay, Taurus, oh my gosh, look, you have a number 12. Yeah, number 12. Spirits like Taurus, just hang in there, okay? You know what? You don't even have to do anything, Taurus, because the universe has got you, okay? The universe has got you. This is Zadkiel, the angel of mercy, okay, and... When he comes to you, um, he helps you to forgive any past wrongs that others have done to you and that you might have done to anyone else. And he helps you to clear energetic blocks. So remember at the beginning of the reading when I told you that I really felt this was kind of like a resetting energy for you where you're kind of moving on to like ground zero again, right? And I feel like... This is because you are releasing any energetic blocks that has been holding you back and you are transmuting any negativity with the violet flame. So Zadkiel is saying you can connect to the violet flame, okay, to release any pain that you've been going through and to help you to come more into alignment to what is really truly for you and also to find solutions to whatever it is you're going through. And Zadkiel wants you to know that you just have to give this some time, okay? You can connect with the blue agate to further connect with Zadkiel, all right? All right, Taurus, so let's take a look at your trick-or-treat oracle and see what special message Spirit has for you. We're also going to take a look at what magic you are making this month, okay? All right, so we have Vampire Taurus. So this is actually a month where you are going to feel so gifted because I feel like you're going to be able to read people. You're going to be able to see right through people except for when it comes to your heart. Isn't that how it always goes for you, Taurus? Like, you can just see through everyone except for when it comes to love, when it comes to your heart. Okay? But I'm seeing an expansion of understanding of others. Okay? I'm seeing, um, yeah, almost like this really em empathetic or empathic and almost telepathic connection with others, and that's the Mercury and Sun in the fifth house as well. 
Um, so I see your emotional intelligence expanding, okay, really connecting with others on an emotional level and on a deeper level, all right? So this is a gift that October is bringing you. Okay, so what magic is Taurus making in October? We have little luxuries, Taurus. And if you want to pause the video and meditate on the symbol um, to get further information, you can do that as well if you feel called to do that. Okay. But this is some magic that actually generates luxurious surroundings and experiences. Okay, so open yourself up to luxurious um, environments, luxurious um, outings, events, okay, even luxurious times with friends. And Spirit's saying right now, Taurus, I think that it's okay for you to splurge a little bit extra on yourself because I do feel this extra push of income coming in for you as well, okay? So that's a reading that I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you soon. Bye.